there's a lot of things in Minecraft, including three different dimensions, 63 biomes, and 20 plus structures spanning across millions and millions of blocks. So what would it look like if it was condensed into one singular chunk? Hmm. Well, let's find out together. So firstly, we're going to need to find the nearest stronghold so we can include the end portal frame at the very bottom of the chunk. Oh, there it is. Now let's grab my TNT. Oh my God, leave me alone. And let's blow up the entire stronghold. Oh, oh. I wasn't supposed to blow into the end portal room. Oh no. So I need to preserve the stronghold room. So I grabbed a bunch of obsidian. Ow. I'm going to cover the entire portal room with obsidian to protect it from the TNT explosions. And now the portal room is safe from explosions. Wait right there. I have some big news. I finally have a brand new cookie plushie coming out. Remember the old one from two years ago? Yeah, he he's an old man now. Check out this guy. He's the king of all cookies with a fat gold crown on its head and a beautiful red cape. It's releasing next Friday on June 16th and only selling for three weeks. If you can't get one, I'll also be running a giveaway. All you have to do is follow my Twitter and Instagram below and click the link in the description. The more you do, the more entries you'll get to win yourself a King Cookie plushie. The plushies go on sale June 16th at U2s.com. So don't miss out. It's only on sale for three weeks. Okay, I'm directly above the end portal frame and the plan is to blow a giant hole from the surface all the way down to bedrock, giving me enough room to build the chunk inside of it with the stronghold at the very bottom. So to begin, let's light this up and let's see how this goes. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, it's going all the way down. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of water and a lush biome. Um, well, this is going to be a problem. Let's grab my sponges and let's soak up all of this water in the way. Oh. And now let's have some fun of TNT and blow a giant crater in the ground leading to the end portal frame. Okay, this is taking way too long doing it by hand. So I drained this entire river and started building a TNT flying machine. Okay, I built all of these automatic TNT duper thingies. And this is literally going to destroy the entire world. So let's turn all of them on. This is my very first time testing all of it. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Look at all that TNT just being sprayed down into the Minecraft world. Okay, please go back the other way. And oh my god, no way. No way. There's no chance I built all of these correctly the first time. Hopefully it comes right back. Oh, I forgot to re remove that. If we flick this, it should go back. I think I broke it, guys. All right, let me break this whole thing and redo it. But with these TNT flying machines, it should make clearing out this entire ground a lot easier. So now all we got to do is wait and watch these satisfying flying machines go to work. All right, we made a pretty big dent in the ground. It looks kind of wild from up here, but I came pretty close to death. Whoa, I just did a backflip <laughs> while destroying this hole. Just uh, take a look. I just lived by half a heart. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't even have a totem on. Okay, but all this water is making my life pretty difficult. It's just soaking up all of my TNT. <laughs> See what I did there? Soaking because it's... Okay, never mind. That was a terrible dad joke. <laughs> Let's just come over here uh, and bam. That was super painful. Now that all the water is gone, we can uh, turn the fly machine back on and continue mining out the hole. What is happening there? That piston is having a straight up seizure. <laughs> okay, this is as deep as the TNT reaches and good news the stronghold is intact but the only problem is we need to dig out even more below the stronghold because if you jump through the portal you should end up in the end biome so i'm gonna build oh, oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god okay 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 we're good we're good <laughs> So I'm just going to manually blow up this area with TNT. So if you guys want to see more of that, go to my second channel for the behind the scenes. And there we go. We now have this massive crater in the ground. <laughs> it, it's massive. That's what she said. And that's what I never hear. <clears throat> All that there is left to do now is remove... Oh my, I really need to stop doing that. It's to remove all of this obsidian covering the stronghold. And there we go. We just have the stronghold revealed. That looks so trippy. Ah! But now we can finally start working on the one chunk. Let's first fix up the stronghold because uh, there's a bunch of holes all over the floor. Okay, here's the game plan for the one chunk. It's going to fill up this entire hole vertically from top to bottom. And each layer will be a different biome. And we're first going to start at the very bottom, which is going to be the end biome. So now let's fly all the way home, which is very far away um what is happening over here 
Oh, and collect everything I need for the end biome. All right, I got my end stone and where? What? I, I don't even know what to say. I. I swear my elytra just didn't work. <laughs> totally wasn't a me problem. All right, but let's come down here and remove this lava for now. Just so I can be... In okay. Oh, my. Okay. There's so many. Okay, please leave me. Please go away. Just so I can be in the center. They don't stop coming. Just so I can be in the center of the end portal frame. Oh. <laughs> Loser. Let's build down from here. We. Uh, and let's build out a 16 by 16 square to mark out the official chunk size. And to make it look like the end island, let's add a little bit of depth and build the terrain. Okay, and this is the one chunk. But now imagine this, but going all the way up to the sky limit. This project is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so this is the middle and we got to build the end portal frame in here, which means we need bedrock, which is really easy to get. I mean, we can just come down here and... Okay, never mind. But I do know if you mine some deep slate and use some... Oh my, Jabib. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. And place it down. It sort of looks like bedrock. So let's just use that as the uh, the frame. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's build the obsidian pillars around it. Okay, and I think I'm going to add some crystals on every single pillar. And maybe some of that long, purpley, twisted stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. So to craft an end crystal, you need some glass. And I have ender and a gas tier at the very bottom. The only problem is I'm missing gas tiers. There's no way that I have any. So, uh... Yes, we got eight gas tiers. Let's craft these end crystals. And let's head over to the end to grab these squiggly things. Ah, chorus fruit. Interesting. We, uh, let's plant these fruit. How to, oh my god, you don't use this. I gotta fly all the way back. Bam, 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 bam. All right, there we go. Now let's take my end crystals and place them on these obsidian blocks. Let's just pray that I don't touch them. Do I, if I run into them, will they blow up? Okay, they, they won't blow up. Bam! And the end island chunk is complete. Just sounds like there's a ton of mo- Oh, God, okay. At least there's no creepers. Let's, let's light this up. I always do this. I always forget to light things up. And before we build the next biome above the stronghold, let's fix it really quickly. Let's destroy this middle part right here, right where the portal is. So when you jump in, you basically fall right into the end, which is a cool effect. But we also need to trim down this wall because it's leaning off the chunk just a little bit and rebuild the entrance. And now let's grab all of my stone Ugh. and let's fill in all of this empty space where the stronghold is because the stronghold is underground in in stone. So it only makes sense to completely fill this up within these chunk outlines. Let's add some ores around to make it look real. And that makes the stronghold structure complete. But I'm going to continue the stone upwards and transition it into a whole nother dimension, which is going to be the nether. There are a few different biomes in the nether, obviously. So let's build the outline for the lava lake right across here. So this is where the lava will go. And I'm just going to have two separate islands on either side. And let's just make one of them a nether waste biome. And let's make this little one a soul sand valley. Let's make one of the islands just a nether. Let's just make one of the islands a regular nether waste island. What? Let's make one of the islands just a regular wasteland biome. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez, that that was a, that was a that was a, that, that that yeah yeah that yep that was that yep. Let's fly into the nether, and luckily there's some soul sand right here. Nice. Oh, let's grab all this. Let's also steal some bones. And let's start building it. And you just can't forget the fire. Like, it, it just looks so cool. Blue fire, totally useless, but super cool. Oh, but now this biome is looking really boring. Huh, what, what could we add? You know what? Let's just come over here and yoink up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Right, and my idea is to build a tall bastion in this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I haven't seen phantoms in a while. As I was saying, to build a tall bastion in this corner, that would then reach into the second biome, which would be like a crimson forest. And you'll be able to see like the tippity top of it, if that made any sense. So let's head over here and grab everything I need. Oh my god. Uh, there's so many mobs now in the world. My God, leave me alone. I'm not that juicy. Okay, kind of like this. I'm going to build another biome right here. And it's just going to show the top of the bastion. So when you go through, you enter a new biome, which is, 
I thought would be cool. I'm just trying to mesh all of these biomes together so it feels connected. Kind of like the end portal going into the end. And to make it even cooler, I'm also going to continue the bastion over here with the uh, gold thingy where there's a bunch of gold up here. I don't really know what it looks like. I'm just going to do this. I think it looks something like that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There, there we go. Okay, that does not look right at all. <laughs> Let's make it seem like there's a little trail right here that's been kind of overgrown that leads to the gold. And now let's add the rest of the crimson biome stuff thing stuff. Yeah. And to contrast it, let's build a war force biome on the other side. Okay, and to make it realer, -er -er, <laughs> I'm going to add some depth at the bottom of this biome just so there's like some depth at the bottom of the island. <laughs> oh my god. All right, that looks a lot better. Um, oh, wait. I totally forgot to add the lava lake. <laughs> just the hole. Okay, let's build the platform. And now let's start filling it in with lava. And there we go. I do have two extra lava buckets left. So I think I'm going to come up here and just make a little uh, stream coming down from the top. Because that's what happens in the nether. There's just random lava coming down. <laughs> and I put one over here, which will like be right on the land. And hopefully it just flows nicely into the lake and not down. And where is it going to go? Oh, there we go. There we have it, the entire nether, a stronghold in here, and the end biome. And so far, the chunk is looking pretty good. It's really cool. I love how detailed it's getting. This is kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm super excited to see this one chunk go like all the way up vertically, like into the heavens of the sky and just come out of the ground. It's gonna look so cool. Okay, now that the nether is done, I need to find a way to transition, blah, 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 transition it from the nether dimension into the overworld dimension. And I really like what I did here with like you're jumping into the dimension. So I'm going to try to do the same thing with a nether portal. So let's first start building an island of netherrack. That will soon transition into regular stone. All right. And now let's just carve a hole like right here. And this is where the nether portal is. And you would just jump down into the nether. So let's thicken this boy up. Now let's start the slow dimension transition going from the nether into the overworld. And we have hit a huge milestone. The one chunk is officially taller than the ground now. Okay, just don't look at that mountain over there. <laughs> but yeah, it's peaking above the surface level, which is uh, pretty cool. So you probably noticed this uh, chunk block biome is super deep and that is because it's gonna be the underground biome so it's actually destroyed all this hard work that i built and this right here will be like a nice cavern opening and eventually it's gonna connect all the way down to here where the abandoned nether portal will be so first let's start shaping out the cave on the inside oh wait i i just realized something really stupid of me Oh, I'm so dumb. I totally forgot the deep slate underground now. I've been staring at it the entire time building and I didn't even realize. Because I already built the stone underground over here. And then I'm going right back to the stone... Oh, yeah, all of this stone should be deep slate instead. Ah, there we go. That was very painful. Um, It's not perfect. I kind of messed up a few blocks, but it's all changed into deep slate. But so far, it's looking... Oh, never mind. I, I forgot a few. There we go. Okay, but let's finish up this cave. Yeah, and I got a few layers inside this cave now and a few new ideas. So over here, I'm going to build a deep slate biome and have some hanging poop from the ceiling thing. And when you walk up here, it's going to transition into the lush biome. That is my ingenious plan. <laughs> and luckily, there's already a lush biome over here. So let's just yoink all of this. Let's also grab some glow berries. All right. And, uh, and now with all of these blocks, let's start working on the lush biome. All right, now let's grab some buckets. Let's grab some water. And let's fill in this lush biome with some water here in this clay thingy. And head into the real lush biome. Let's find ourselves some axolotls. Oh, okay, we found a dad. I'm going to let the child live because I want a better looking axolotl than a brown one. Yoink. Oh, yoink. Oh, yoink. Oh, oh. Yeah, this guy's not going to like me. <laughs> Wee. Bam and bam. Enjoy your new home, guys. Drop some names in the cop. Whoa, whoa, what is going on in here? Hey, yo, chill. Okay, they're already making love and they just met three seconds ago. What is this, Minecraft Tinder? Okay, but since the lush biome is complete, let's work on the dripstone cave down here. Oh my God. Oh my Jabib. I finally found a dripstone cave. You guys don't even know how long this took me. Like, if you guys want to see how long it took me, go to BTS, but I'm just so happy I found this. 
And finally, let's start working on this dripstone biome. It's pretty simple. Just some dripstone blocks and some giant turds on the ground. So a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And the dripstone biome is complete. And once all of these dripstone grow up to big boys, it's going to look pretty cool because I made like a little nice pathway right here. So it's going to be like clusters of dripstone and what the all right but that's enough underground building stuff let's continue building the chunk up and transition it into a brand new biome that is in the overworld and that's gonna be the ocean biome and the reason why i decided to make the ocean biome first is because i can transition it pretty well into the lush biome because i want like a stream of water coming from the top down to here let's build a wall here and this is gonna be like a nice little way to get from biome to biome so let's put a bunch of ladders right here and i'm gonna build a little temple thing to cover this entrance up there we go. And that'll like represent an ocean monument because I don't have a lot of room to build one. And before we add any of this decoration stuff, we're going to need to fill the ocean biome with water. And conveniently, we already have this frame above it. I don't think that's going to be enough water though from up here to there. So let's move it up. All right. And now let's head over to here somewhere far away and let's grab some dirt. And now let's fill in this entire platform with dirt and now with water. Now I need to figure out a way to have the water come down here, but not pour over the edge. And I want to avoid using glass because that's boring and it looks pretty ugly so i'm gonna make this border around the ocean biome here and let's just break this border here and let's let the water flow okay and my idea is if i just break this would it flow over the edge huh? it will yes okay that, that was really stupid of me if i break this will it redirect into there and yeah uh, okay okay what if i craft a stair and put it here will it Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let's craft a bunch of these and use the stone for gravel bits. And let's use some sandstone stairs. Okay, hopefully that works. Let's remove this stone border. Oh God, that looks so trippy. That looks so weird. It looks wrong. Like it's just, the water just stops right there. It looks like I'm cheating. Yeah, it wasn't working as good as I hoped. I literally spent one entire hour trying to fix this. There was always just one little corner of water that would come out and like, look at the mess I've made, but I finally fixed it. Now we can come up here and grab my shovel and remove all of this dirt to let the water come down. I feel like this is going to totally mess it up. So I'm praying, I'm praying it works please. Okay. And oh my God. I was right. An entire hour of work for it to just pour over. Oh my God. All right. I gave up with the stairs and I ended up using glass instead. And I used gray glass to blend it in with the stone. I should probably remove all of this too, just in case like I accidentally turned this on and it just destroys my one chunk. I'm kind of scared to break anything though. It might turn it on. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it for now. But now that we have the water inside the ocean biome, let's fill it in. Now the ocean biome is complete. It looks pretty cool and colorful with a nice little secret entrance into the cave system with a zombie in here, please. Okay. Do you see this little opening in this little corner? Yep. That's your death. And like I promised, I want to transition the ocean biome into the lush biome. So let's break a block right here. Oh. Um, break that too. And let's have water come down and land into this biome. And this just makes the transition into biomes a little bit more seamless, which is my goal for all of these biomes. Next up on top of the ocean biome, I want to build a little ship and some icebergs. So let's grab a bunch of wood stuff and let's build it right on top of the ocean biome. Don't mind me. I'm just doing a quick backstroke. Let's slap down a lily pad and let's start building the ship. Oh yeah, I love how cute I made this. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a little baby boat that I would sink because I'm standing on it and I'm at least 4,000 kilograms. All right, I'm also going to build a few icebergs right here to simulate the Titanic. Luckily for me, there's an ice biome right over here with this really weird looking tall iceberg thing. Let's steal some of this, some of this normal ice and some snow. And let's build a little thing in the corner. And the ocean is complete. I actually really like how it turned out. And just a reminder, this is what the area looked like at the beginning of the video. And this is what it looks like now. The next biome I want to build above this is going to be a rarer biome. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet. But what I do know is that we need a lot more stone, which is uh, pretty easy to get. Let's also grab some dirt. 
Yep, this is so exciting, guys. Like, <laughs> Minecraft dirt, yeah, quality content. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys me getting dirt to bore you guys. Isn't this fun? A, a YouTuber intentionally boring you guys. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I don't get any views. Anyways, and the special biome is gonna be the mushroom biome. And it would be pretty boring to just build the biome without bringing the animals, so that's gonna be one of my goals. You guys are gonna come with me. It's gonna be a very long journey, so it's gonna be pretty painful. All right, I'm first gonna start building the ground with stone to give it a little bit of depth. All right, now let's start adding some dirt. I'll transition the stone into the uh, the mycelium, the mushroom biome. Let's cut off these corners a little bit, and this will be where... There's some, yeah, and on this side too. And now for the mycelium. Oh yeah, now let's grab my mushrooms and build some nice large brown tips. Oh. Well, that was pretty easy, but we still have a very difficult challenge to face. And that is bringing a mushroom cow from the mushroom island all the way over here and up there. Th that is going to be like a 5,000 block journey for this guy. And we made it. If you want to see me transport these guys, go to BTS. But now you guys got to go up there, like, like all the way up there. Okay, so here's the plan. Since I'm too lazy to build a giant staircase up there, I'm gonna build straight up and straight across and then put some water down and we made it. That was a lot easier than I thought. Not a single mushroom cow was harmed during all of this. Oh, no! No! They're literally dead, so. Ah, no! Not again! Live, 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 live! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that is the mushroom biome complete. Oh, wait, I forgot to name them. You are going to be Mark, and you will be Mark 2. And since we're in the overworld dimension biome phases now with thingy, yeah, English, the next biome I want to build is going to be the jungle biome, mainly because they have very tall trees, and it's going to take up a lot of vertical space, making this entire build look a little bigger and cooler. Let's do the same thing and build a stone and grass island. And now all we're going to do is jungleify it. Let's fly into the thick of it. And let's start chopping. Honestly, I don't even need jungle wood. What am I doing? All I need are saplings. Let's also grab some bamboo. I never knew uh, pumpkins grow in jungles, but I guess they do. I'll grab some of this. Let's pull up my shears and grab some vines. And since I can't get the bright green jungle grass over at the one chunk, I'm just going to grab a lot of pods though. All right. So you guys see what I mean? How ugly this grass is? It looks so dead. So let's just replace it with pods. <laughs> I'm not sure how it makes it look better. It literally looks like someone just ran out of toilet paper and rubbed their bum across the grass. All right. And now let's grab my jungle saplings and plant like a giant fat one right here. Hopefully it's not too tall. Okay. Um, it's missing the leaves. Nice. Um, Minecraft. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's also grow a few small ones. Let's throw down some pumpkins. I also grabbed some mossy cobblestone to just throw around. Can't forget the bamboo. Let's add some vines to these little trees. And lastly, let's bone meal the ground to give it some grass and some flowers. This entire one chunk is looking pretty insane already. It's already super tall, which is really cool. And we still got a few more biomes to build. But before we do that, let's try to transport a panda all the way over here. Do you guys remember that panda that's stuck underground and is always doing like front flips like right here? Yep. He's still doing it. <laughs> I think today is the day I'm going to try to save him. Let's make a little staircase out of the ground for him. Oh, he's coming. Oh, look at his lips. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, hopefully he can fit in a boat. Oh my God, he is the boat. I'm not sure how we're even moving, but it's somehow working. Whee! Please don't sink. All right, going to the nether. I can't believe he fit through the portal. Where'd he go? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Where did he go? Did he die? There's no way he went back, right? Bruh. What? Where, where, did, where did the panda go? Well, uh, there's the mystery of the disappearing panda. Honestly, he probably did so many front flips, he just rolled off into the lava and just died. <laughs> That's a possibility. All right, I guess no panda. <laughs> okay, now for the next island, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Instead of using stone, let's grab some of this. Because we're going to be building the desert biome. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that hurts my throat. Oh, I'm so weird. I'm literally the weirdest dude on the planet. <laughs> what the hell? I could have my own reality TV show for real. Let's also grab some dead bushes and also change up the designs of the islands. These are like nice and rounded at the bottom. I'm gonna go for something revolutionary. Never been done before. Truly innovative. I built a square. <laughs> I think that's good. And since sand falls, oh, oh that's not sand. <laughs> Since sand falls, obviously, I'm just going to use some slabs to, like, support it up, you know? Uh, 
There we go. And now we can just grab some dead bushes and plant them all around the island. And I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. That's boring. Let's try to build a small desert temple on the top of this. I think that looks pretty good for a small little desert temple. But anyway, since the desert biome doesn't have a lot of color, let's just make a thing right here. And let's make a nice little lava pool. Let's grab all my buckets. Ooh, oh, there's a nice lava pool right there. Easy. I don't need to go to the nether. Oh my God. I thought I was going to burn in the lava for a sec. And there we go. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting cactuses. Oh, my. How do I forget the one thing that's always been in deserts? Let's head over to my cactus farm and let's grab just a few. Just a few. Yep. And uh, let's throw some cactuses around. And it's kind of funny because they're, they're going to be taller than the desert temple. <laughs> Uh, the desert is complete. I actually really like it. It's 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 so cute and like homey. I don't know how it's homey. There's little spiky things that could kill you, but yeah. And so far, we have a ton of different biomes and all three dimensions all inside this one chunk. And I can build biomes for days, but eventually I'm going to reach the top of the world. So let's build our last one, which is going to be the classic plains biome. And this time I'm actually going to make the plains island a little different. Instead of going for a round shape or like a square shape, I'm actually going to build an island. So there's going to be like a tippy point at the bottom and it's gonna come up like a nice flower uh thingy you guys know what i mean all right the island is completed it sort of looks like a real island much better than those ones down there <laughs> but now let's head over to this forest and just grab the things i need like a few saplings and let's collect a little bit of wood so i can build a small house let's plant a few trees and let's build a hut right in the dead center of this island it'll be super simple a simple square window and bam look at that <laughs> let's uh, go grab some spruce wood and some cobblestone to build the roof. And to add some pizzazz, let's uh, build a little chimney right here. Let's craft some trap doors and just slap them on around like this. Then we could break this middle piece. Oh my god, we're so high. It snows up here. Bruh. Oh wait, we're in a snow biome. How has it never snowed when I was building all of these? Wait a second. It rains down here. Oh yeah, we must be just so high that it snows. Well, that's kind of cozy. This is a plains biome and a snow biome, I guess. Let's craft two campfires. Let's place one right here for the chimney. I'll add a nice little smoke effect and let's asshole. Asshole. <laughs> Alpha. My English is so bad. Let's, let's place one right here. That'll melt some snow around. And let's use some logs as some seating. So there's like a little campfire thing situation going on here. Let's change up the floor to some cobblestone. Let's place some torches around to melt all of the snow. Let's now use my shovel to make a pathway from the house over to the campfire. And finally, let's take the bone meal and just light it up. That's not the right term, but there we go. Oh, wait, I didn't even finish this house, bro. Let's put some logs right there and here. Let's change the floor to some wood. Let's use the remaining wood to make a spruce door. Bam. Let's put my crafting table inside the house with a furnace. And let's just make some tabletops with this, I guess. I don't know. Make it look cool. Throw a torch in here. Let's grab the glass. Put it in here as windows. And you know what? Let's, let's leave my bed in here as well. Bam. And there we go. Using all the materials that I found all around this chunk. And a few other things that made a pretty cozy house. On top of a very cozy plains biome that also snows. But I'm lucky I decided to end and building the biomes right here because if i go further up it's going to continue snowing and it's going to cover everything with snow but that is my ultimate one chunk it has almost every single biome inside of it all three dimensions inside this giant hole in the ground that looks super super cool you can go from the ocean right into this into a cave system with a lush biome a deep slate if you keep running down you hit the nether which then you find the nether portal oh wait i never built the nether portal okay you call for it of course, the skeleton has to end it. <sniffs> that was a little aggressive. <laughs> let's just, you know, yoink this nether portal that I have. I also need a bit more. So let's uh, turn this to some obsidian. Let's mine some of this. Let's go back into the nether here. I can't believe I forgot the portal. <laughs> let's place her down right here. Let's make a nice three by three portal because they look kind of cool and fancy. Bam. Let's light her up. Uh, let's use the blocks that I have to build a staircase up to it like this. Make it look a little fancy. Maybe some of this. And now if you run through this, you just fall right into this dimension, which is the nether. You get made it with the warp and crimson forest. You can run down this bastion, get down to another biome. And for the stronghold, you can come in here with a spawner still intact and the real stronghold that has never been destroyed yet right into the end island that looks super cool and the zombie that it's so annoying. Please fall to your death. And that is how I build everything in Minecraft into one singular chunk. The very last thing I need to do is clean up all of this garbage that surrounds the entire thing I blew up and carefully remove these. Oh, God. No! No! <laughs> 